Welcome guys, in today's myth busting video we're testing the following myths. Myth number one, the van will drive faster if you pop a tire. Myth number two, the arms of your enemy acts as a damage shield while your enemy is holding a weapon. Myth number three, you can shoot enemies without being able to see them by using the bullet drop of the weapon. And myth number four, you can prone inside the body of a fallen teammate to shield yourself from bullets. For the first myth, we're going to test if it's actually true that the van will drive faster if you pop a tire. In order to test this, we will have two tests. First, a side-by-side -side drag race and then a trailing test to test if the van with the popped tire will catch up to the van with intact tires. Let's get going. So in the drag race we saw that the van with the pop tire actually got to the finish line before the van with intact tires. But will we get the same results on the trailing test? Here both vehicles are driving on the center line and the van in the back has a pop tire. Will it be able to catch up with the one in the front? Yes, it actually does catch up and from all the testing I did, it seems to catch up as the vans are going uphill, but only if the speed of the vehicle is above around 50 km per hour, as they otherwise seem to accelerate identically regardless of road elevation. So the myth that a van with a pop tire is faster than one without is hereby confirmed, even though it's only a minor increase in speed. Next, we're testing the myth that if a player is holding a weapon, his arms will cover up a portion of his body and thereby act as a shield. Before we test this, we have to understand something about how the 1.0 damage model works in PUBG. Because as you can see from this chart, you do take 50% less damage from a shot to the arm compared to a shot in the belly and even less damage compared to a shot to the chest. This is easily confirmed by shooting a player in the arm and then shooting him in the belly comparing the damage. But what if the player is holding a weapon? Will the hands and arm act as a shield? While testing this we found that the hands does not seem to have an active hitbox while the player is holding a weapon. However the arms can be hit while in this position. So this does mean that you could get unlucky and hit the arms of the player and thereby do less damage to your enemy when shooting them while they're facing directly towards you. When shooting at a player directly and hitting the arms, the player in this example took 7 shots before she died and when shooting in the belly, the player only took 4 shots before dying. So yes, in theory you could get unlucky and shoot a player in the arms and thereby do less damage and I am sure this happens much more than you think. So if you get unlucky and your spray hit the arms of your enemy rather than the torso, you might lose a direct duel because of this. And for that reason, the myth is confirmed. The arms do act as a shield when your enemy is holding a weapon. Now it's time to test if it's possible to shoot enemies you can't even see by using the bullet drop curve to your advantage. And I guess no one will be surprised that this actually worked but I thought it was pretty cool to include in the video as this does give food for thought for some potential amazing kills. 
This test was done at around 600 meters distance, and the bullet drops perfectly and hit the target. So the myth is absolutely and not surprisingly confirmed. The last myth is that you should be able to use the bodies of your fallen teammates as a shield to protect yourself from bullets. If this works, you would be able to prone down inside the body of your fallen teammate, survive the bullets and then when your enemy runs out of ammo, get up and shoot him. You would however have to do this before the body despawns, which happens after about 30 seconds. And yes, this does actually work. I'm unable to hit the body of the test subject until one of the bodies despawn. So the myth that you can use the corpse of a fallen teammate as a shield is confirmed, although it might not be the most ethical correct thing to do. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this one. You can also further support me by supporting me on Patreon, as this is my full-time job and everything does indeed help. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>